Good evening. So this is the first week that the church building itself has been allowed to be open since uh, the beginning of March. Our buildings, uh, they are important. They give us a, a sense of belonging, of security, of comfort, and, and there's a shared history. But they're not essential for faith in Jesus. In fact, Jesus said, it's what's on the inside that really counts. But come on in, come on in. Now, you will notice there are some new essential ingredients to stepping back inside the building. Hand sanitizer, social distancing, uh, one-way signs. And all of this has kind of got me thinking about how any of this helps us think about faith. So the first thing we need to do is use the hand sanitizer. And of course, this ensures that any unwanted germs are zapped and dealt with, problem solved. But what about the stuff inside? What about the internal things, the things that we said or did that we really wished and knew that we shouldn't have? J. John says that the heart of the problem is the problem of the human heart. And the only way of sanitizing that is by accepting Jesus died on the cross. You see, all of that internal stuff still has to be dealt with. And when Jesus died on the cross, he was taking the consequences for all of humanity's internal stuff but he rose from the dead demonstrating that he really is lord of everything even death couldn't hold on to him and all of that stuff of ours that he carried is now gone forgiven dealt with when we accept jesus and then there's the new one-way system in place to guide you to your seat because we don't want anyone backing up on themselves and bumping into anyone else I guess it feels a bit odd because we're used to making our own decisions about which way we go. I've had many conversations with people who kind of have a pick and mix uh, approach to spirituality. But the thing that distinguishes Christianity is that Jesus says he is the one way to the Father, to a dynamic, living, exciting, life-transforming relationship with our Heavenly Father. And then, when we finally got to our seat, we then have to sit two metres apart. We have to observe social distancing. I wonder if this is one of the hardest parts about the challenge that we currently face, because we're created for relationship. We're created for intimacy. Uh, we're created for hugs and closeness. And thankfully, our Heavenly Father says to us, come close, come curl up on my knee and feel my arms around you. In fact, come and live in me and my goodness, and I will live in you. I want to know you. I love you. I want to pour out everything that is within heaven upon you. So now that we are able, we may want to give ourselves to 10 minutes inside the building. Of course, let's do that. But God ultimately longs for us not to give ourselves to a building, but to him. If you, during this season, are kind of thought, I just want to get the inside sorted, the inside of me dealt with. If you want to get to know Jesus, if you want a relationship with God, then at the end of this, a prayer will come up. They use this prayer and then Consider joining our online services. Uh, maybe consider joining the next Alpha course when it's advertised here in the autumn. And of course, come and speak to me.